going on, Lego Maniacs? It's Tyler Lego here, and today we're doing another really cool set for Old School Wednesdays, and that is the uh, second generation of Knight's Kingdom. It's 8823, Miss Lens Tower. Came out in 2006, had 431 pieces, six minifigs, and retailed for 50 US back in the day. Now, nowadays, this set's worth 67 used, or about 130 new. Uh, I was getting some requests to do Knight's Kingdom, so I thought, you know, why not do a set? This may be their best set out of that line. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Just because a lot of them weren't very good, but I actually thought this one was pretty good, which is the reason I bought it back in the day. Uh, but yeah, enough talk. Let's get right into it. All right, well, here we have a set. As you guys can see, it's very large. This thing is honestly, that's one thing I failed to mention, or, or I'm mentioning it now. This thing's like nearly two feet tall. Like it's it's massive. Like for those of you that do meters, uh, it's about half a meter nearly long or tall. So I'll give you a 360 view of it. I can barely fit it in the screen and I'm like stretching my arms to like <laughs> basically uh, show you guys. Very, very cool. Um, you notice there's a lot of different rooms. Believe it or not, this, this is a tower, Mislin's tower, whatever you want to call it, mini castle. It is uh, one, two, three, four, it's five levels tall, so incredible, right? So right from the beginning, we'll just uh, show you guys the, the insides. So what's interesting here is it's nothing too crazy. It's just basically an entrance to the tower. Over here, we got a nice doorway. We're gonna break this down section by, se section, by section, just to give you guys a little bit better review. And then the back here, Kind of like, uh, obviously, as you guys can see, it's kind of like a dungeon. There's a rat in there, as you guys can see. So nothing too crazy on the bottom, but some nice detail. Then moving on, let's uh, move into the middle of the um, blacksmith. I'm going to say this blacksmith not, is not a really nice guy just because he does have a dungeon. And there's a skeleton right there. But, um, okay, so what we'll do is I'll, I'll show you guys. This set's actually a difficult set to review. Let's say, let's put one of the bad guys here. He's right here, he's standing. You know, he's invading the uh, the castle, if I can stand this guy. We all know how Lego features are. Well, you pull this little hinge, like right here, <laughs> and it knocks him right out. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, that's, this is why I really like this Knight's Kingdom set, just because yeah, Knight's nice Kingdom, especially the sec second generation, wasn't great. Um, they still had so... This set had so many features. Like, they did a good job. Like, as much as that, you know, it, it, there's a lot of sets that weren't too good. Uh, then what's cool is you get a catapult. So you guys all know how those go. You just click this down, and it shoots the thing out. And then the cool thing about this, if you notice... Um, there's a skeleton here, and if you pull this out, oh, it comes down, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I do like that feature. The set's just jam-packed full of features. And then right here, obviously, as you guys can see, there's a treasure chest. And what's cool about this is, before we get into that, just notice little, this little blacksmith area. So basically, the blacksmith wants to make swords or pound on you know, a sword. You can work right here, which is pretty cool do quite like that and uh, the cool thing about this set too is they give you so much gold like I'll just show you guys there's two um, sets of four coins so I'll just show you guys what that looks like tons of gold like these guys are rich there's a reason why the bad guys are here so very very cool um, moving on I'm gonna say this was a wasted room um, like most of the rooms, you know, they have something in there like the blacksmith. Oh, actually, okay, that's where the treasure goes. I take it back. It's not a wasted room. And there's a web here as well, which is kind of cool. The room I was thinking of is probably this one. You know, they could have put something in there, but they didn't. I mean, they got crossbows on either side, which is kind of cool. But, eh, whatever. They could have did better, right? And then on the top here... This goes into the Knights of the Kingdom lore. Like, it's almost like a... It's sort of like... 
wizardy and anyways they got dragon heads here and as I bust this off this little thing comes up and down I wasn't I'm honestly I'm gonna be perfectly honest my least favorite part of this set is probably here I don't like this thing I think the dragon heads are cool you know with the flames coming out but I'm just not into that plus it almost seems like these guys are bad like they're witches <laughs> But anyways, that's very small. The rest of the set's fantastic. I think it's a pretty cool Knight's Kingdom set. Another thing that you'll notice is they have these big axes here, which is pretty cool. And a small little barrel full of weapons. But yeah, that's the set itself. Uh, let's actually now just briefly take a look at the basically owner Onager little catapult that's included with this set. So we'll get into that. And here's that little Onager we were talking about. So very cool. It's kind of technique. Technic and uh, bricks put together and then when you push this down that flies out so it actually shot really well it went right over the tower anyways cool little uh, basically gimmick nothing too crazy there the other thing it does include is a horse and you guys know what these horses look like they're the standard old horses they were still using these back in 2006 and I actually really like them I think they're uh, even to this day they still look pretty good but now, as always, let's get into the We have figs. three of the six mini figs. So I'll just give you guys a 360 view of these dudes. So pretty cool. One thing I'm just gonna mention right now is I love how they have their own banner, basically. You know, he's a scorpion. He's kind of like a serpent. Very cool. Um, just so you know, this guy's name's Carzone. He's a bad knight that follows um, Knight Vladek. So pretty cool. They all have backstory if you want to check them out. So that's actually a Viking head. They have these heads in the Viking theme as well. They kind of crossed a little bit, although I think the Viking theme in general was better. And this reminds me of the Asian theme. Very similar face. In fact, if you look into the history, like the um, the agents, the very first theme, the very first agents like run had basically this face. They just his name was Ogle, I believe. They just basically ripped that off. That's what his face was based off of. Don't really like that, but whatever, it works. He's a bad guy, right? And then, just to give you a little bit better view of their torsos, I do quite like uh, Vladex. You know, he has that nice scorpion. And then, he doesn't really have anything. These guys have no back face printing or back torso printing, so we're not going to take their armor off. Uh, this has one of the old school skeletons, which I think this was one of the last sets that actually still used this old school skeleton. They very quickly after this went into the normal ones we're used to seeing. But yeah, those are the three minifigs. Let's now take a look at the final three. And here are the final three. So just before uh, we get into looking at them, uh, the one on the left is is uh, Sir Adric. He's the black and the blue, red and gray minifig. Wow, can't get my colors. And then on the far right we have King Matthias, almost like Matthew. So pretty cool. In the middle we have the blacksmith. I will say one of the faults with this set, look at this guy, no torso printing. Just because you got a beard on him doesn't mean you don't have to give him torso printing. So that is actually kind of frustrating. I don't really like that. Um, but uh, there's some very detailed armor. So as you guys can see, it's kind of like an eagle on him. He just has a standard, you know, armor basically breastplate, but he does have a very cool little bull uh, head as his uh, basically banner and then here you can see it continues he has the eagle with the eagle or the bird and then this blacksmith even has his own banner so all these dudes got their own banner uh this one as well opens up you know very nightly and that's what his face kind of looks like also a face taken from the viking theme and then here's king matthias without his helmet on and just so you guys can see what i'm kind of talking about this is actually a Viking head that was used as well. There were so many crossed faces. So there's another Viking face and no torso. Like, come on, Lego. You definitely can improve there. But anyways, all in all, still not bad looking minifigs. I just wish that we got more detail and uh, more standard troops because that's one thing the second generation Knights Kingdom did not have was just standard soldiers. Um, but yeah, those are the mini figs. Let's now get into the end of the review and get my final thought. Well guys, that was my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, honestly, I think this set's pretty good. Um, I mean, I liked all the little features. I think it has an interesting look. Again, the top area, 
there is some story behind that with Knight's Kingdom, but I don't... I like the Dragon Heads, I just don't really like the ball. I mean, what is it, a blacksmith wizard? I don't really know who this guy is. Um, but still, I mean, all in all, it's still a very nice looking set. Um, this is probably one of the most diversified sets as far as minifigs go. Like, yeah, there are heroes, but at least we get a blacksmith, we get a skeleton, we get sort of an obscure hero, we get a king. You know, the, having the cool bad guy, Vladek or whatever, is, is cool. That's cool to have. And then having basically a sidekick, a knight turned bad, if you look into the story storyline. Um, he chooses to follow, you know, the evil knight. Uh, you know, they, they had some cool stories going on with it. I, I like the build of this set. Um, yeah, I mean, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like this set? Do you not? Uh, do you own it? Any areas you think they could maybe improve on? Uh, but personally, I think it's it's a decent set. I mean, I, I like the, the 2010 and I believe 2014 or 2012 wave of the castle better, which they just completely changed the name. This was the end of Knight's Kingdom. Um, but I still think this set was pretty good. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for you today. But if you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any new old sets I do on this channel. I love doing old sets. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you again. But take care, and I'll catch you on the next one.